welcome back to the Graceful Tangle YouTube channel. I'm Amy Kate and I am really excited to share this video with you guys. I have a new product review and kind of first impressions and I think it's going to be very, very fun and exciting to do with you guys. So, Hobie sent me their crochet hook set. This is the one that is special to them. Um, this is their ergonomic set, so it has the colored grips and aluminum hooks with my favorite head. I am really pumped to try these out. Um, yeah, I'm very, very excited. So I'm going to chat about them for a couple minutes, and then we will head over to my desk, and I will actually try them out live with you guys and give you my first thoughts. So, like I said, Hobie did send these over to me free of charge to review, but please note that all of the um, you know, all of the opinions, all of the things I'm going to share about them are my own. And I am really excited and really grateful to have the opportunity to do that with you guys. And I hope that you enjoy it. So, this set is really awesome. And one of my favorite things about it, just by looking at it, is the size range. So, these hooks, um, there's an 11 hooks in this set. And they range from a 2mm to an 8mm hook size. Which is crazy. I only have one 8mm hook, um, and I believe there's also a 7, yeah, I only have one of each of those, 7mm and 8mm, so I'm really excited to have duplicates of both of those. Um, those sizes are really hard to find, especially a 7mm I have found. Um, I actually just designed a pullover, and it's currently in the testing process, so it's going to be coming out very soon. Um, I used Hobo Yarn for that design as well, actually. Um, I'm really excited to release that to you guys, but like I said, it's in testing at the time I'm filming this video, and I use a 7mm hook for it, and I've actually had some testers have issues finding a hook size that is accurate. So, anyway, I'm really excited to have duplicates of both of those. Um, another thing that's just really fun, and this isn't one of the most important traits, but I think it's a really cool one still, is the color palette. So if I turn it over to the back here, it's still in the plastic packaging that the set comes in, so I apologize for any crinkling or sounds that you may hear um but isn't this palette just gorgeous so this is the two millimeter and then it ranges all the way down to an eight millimeter this color is my favorite being perfectly honest and then this one is my second favorite but all of those are so beautiful um i'm really pumped to try these out and just to have such a complete range um of all of the sizes it's going to be really really exciting so i have included a link for this set down in the description box below if you want to check it out for yourself um yeah, I'm excited to try it out. So let's head over to my desk and open it up, look at all of the hooks, um, and try out one and crochet for a little bit. Alrighty, so here is the hook set. Like I said, it comes with 11 hooks ranging from a 2mm all the way up to an 8mm, which is just an incredible size range. I am really pumped about that. So let's just open it up here. Again, I apologize for any crinkling. I know the plastic can be a little bit loud. And this is what you see when you open it up. So it has all of the sizes written on the um, rubber handles, but they're engraved. And I really, really like that because it means that they are not going to rub off with wear. Um, I have had hooks in the past that have the sizes just written on them. And while there's nothing wrong with that, of course, um, they have rubbed off over time on one particular set. Um, Anyway, so I'm, I'm really excited to have them engraved. I think it's going to make it last even longer. So let's pull out one of these. I'm going to grab the 4.5 millimeter, which is this green one. Um, this is one of my most commonly used sizes. So I'm going to get a lot of use out of this hook in particular. Although here's one of the bigger ones. This is the 7 millimeter. The handles are so soft and comfortable. Um, they have a, a ridge here, which I have actually, I don't think I've had that before. And I really like it. it makes the my first finger fit very comfortably on the hook um i think these are going to be really comfortable to use so i have one out here i'm going to slide that over here and grab some yarn um and i'm just going to start a little tiny project here to try out these hooks along with you guys so let's see what we think i'm going to be making um we're starting a dishcloth, so i'm gonna link the pattern that i'm going to be using um down below it's a free pattern if you'd like to check it out but let's just see. Oh, I like them. I am definitely liking this hook. So this style head is my personal favorite. I really love it. Um, I like it better than a more slanted head or a sharp um, tip. 
Um, that's just personal preference. If you prefer that style head, I know the Susan Bates are well known for being like that. Um, these might not be the hooks for you because they won't be as comfortable to use if that's what you prefer. However, if you're like me and you like this shape, um, then I highly recommend these hooks and I, I think you would love them. So I am starting the row two of this little corner to corner dish cloth and I am just getting more into the groove of using these hooks. Um, yeah. I'm really liking them. They're very comfortable. I love how soft the rubber is. Um, it's not it's not sticking to my hand at all. I don't think it's gonna get dirty very easily. Um, it's not gonna have any like um, peeling issues if that makes sense, which is is really nice to know ahead of time. Um, I can just tell tell by feeling it that these are gonna last a while. Um, the hook itself is very smooth. There's no, um, no rough edges, nothing that's gripping the yarn at all, which I personally really like. Um, I like being able to crochet as fast as possible. Um, and aluminum hooks like this that are nice and smooth definitely help with that. So this is definitely going to be one of my new favorite hook sets. I think I'm really enjoying it. So there's a few rows on this little project. Of course, I won't stay in finish the entire thing with you because we will be here for a good 20 minutes if I if I were to do that um but I am really really enjoying these hooks um I haven't really found anything that I don't love yet there's a little bit of plastic hanging off here probably from the mold um that can easily be probably just pulled off honestly or filed down so I will most likely do that just so that's not there um, like I said, I really love how the hook size is engraved rather than written. I think it's going to make them last longer. Um, the hook head itself is not very long. So I could see myself if I was doing a more, um, intricate stitch. Let's do like a puff stitch and try that out. So here's a little puff stitch. You can see that the head is very full. I was afraid that the stitches were going to be easy to slide off, but they aren't really. They really aren't. That's good to know. Um, yeah, I'm really excited about that. I was afraid that if I were to do a stitch that required more loops to be on the hook at once, that they would just slide off. Um, I have a habit of holding my stitches with my finger anyway. So I do that. I, I mean, I honestly do that by habit. Like, I'm really not even trying to. Um, my finger just naturally goes in that position. So if I weren't doing that, they might fall off a little bit easier. Um... But as a whole, I'm very pleased with how well my stitches are staying on. Um, it happens to me often where they just pop off sometimes or I drop a stitch. And while crochet is very easy to fix that, which is one of my favorite things about crochet, honestly, um, it's definitely something to consider. So anyway, oh, yeah, just like that. So you saw how it just kind of slid out there when I was trying to chain. Um, but just one time and all of that is not bad. So I think that's definitely not something to um, be too concerned about. Yeah, I, I really love these hooks. I'm excited to continue using them. Um, I really like the palette. I will probably keep these um, in the set for a little while, but I might add them. I'll probably just like put them in a cup or a mug or something on my desk, I think, so that they're handy. Um, probably with the handles sticking out since they're such a cute palette. So that's most likely how I'm going to store these. Um, the plastic case is... I think it's really nice that they come in one, especially that it's easy to open and close. Um, the paper inside is not secured at all, so it's it's stuck there by static. Um, it's not going to just fall out, but it's also not going to last forever. So that's something to consider. Um, if you like to have a case for all of your hooks, you will most likely have to purchase one separately. Um, but, I mean, I definitely think this one is good to last a little while for sure. That's exactly what I'll be doing, like I said. So, anyway, I'm excited to keep using them. I will keep you guys updated as I continue to do so. Um, but, yeah, I really love these crochet hooks. I think it is a win-win. So I hope you found this video really exciting to go through. Like I said, I have included the link to the set down below if you want to try it out yourself. I highly recommend it. Um, but there are so many amazing hook sets out there. So it's definitely hard to narrow down which one is my all-time favorite. I'm really thankful to have this one to add to my collection though because I'm going to get so much use out of it. Let me know if you enjoyed this video and would like to see more like it. They are so fun to film and just to be able to share my first opinions and impressions with you guys. Um, it's definitely exciting and just really enjoyable for me to film. The work is totally worth it, let me tell you. 
Again, I hope you enjoyed it. Please be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Let me know if you liked it in the comments below and if you've tried this these hooks for yourself. And I will see you all again next time. Until then, happy making. Bye.